So Aikido is a very special and unique martial art. Uh, it's quite different from a lot of different martial arts, whether it's competition or there are very um, strong physical drills. Sometimes uh, there's no philosophy or no deeper purpose, rather just how to beat the other person and actually win against them. Aikido is different. It actually has a deep philosophy, has a deep spiritual perspective, and has a it's a path which allows you to grow more than your ways. It's not just self-defense, it's so much more. But then when you come to a dojo, the first class and the first period might be quite hard. That's why I wanted to make this video and just give you a few pointers of what do I think are, is important when you're a beginner and you want to get into it. So first of all, not all dojos might be even Aikido has a lot of different styles, a lot of different teachers, and uh, if one teacher is teaching in a certain way, that doesn't mean that all the dojos will be like that. So if you come to an Aikido dojo, and you check the dojo, and you realize it's not really clicking with you, don't think that this is the only way. Try a few other dojos, maybe see which instructor is closer to your heart, which instructor is actually teaching in a way which you want to learn. Don't just sub submit to what, what is given and taking it as the real deal. But always just allow yourself to feel what feels right for you. If you're going to practice this art for more than a few years, most likely you want to be in a place where you're actually going to enjoy being as much as uh, allowing yourself to evolve and grow. Now the second tip is don't be ashamed. Oftentimes when we come to Aikido, we see a lot of cool, great stuff. I mean, people are flying all over the place, they're making these fancy roles, difficult techniques, and one can be actually discouraged and think, man, you know, I, I suck, this is, I'm wasting everybody's time. There's some dojos where there's a special beginner's class, where we're going to be able to grow step by step to get into the main group. Uh, most of the dojos won't have that. So it's important that when you come to the, to the first class and you see all this amazing stuff happening, remember that these people also started from ground zero. They also had their first day. It's the tradition of Aikido to bring a more advanced person to the beginner uh, so that he would help and develop. And actually it's good for the advanced person as well. If he's able to explain the technique well, that means he develops too. And also it uh, helps, supports his uh, spiritual and mental growth which is also very important for you. So don't be ashamed that you're starting off in a, in a position where you don't know as much as everyone else. Everyone started there, and everyone got to the position where we are through the help of others. So allow yourself to take in that help, and when you are more advanced, also remember that you can also help the others as someone helped you. Now the third tip is don't compare yourself to others. Of course, it's important to be inspired by others and to think, wow, this guy is really great. Actually, you know what? I would like to develop myself more so, um, so I would be more, in that sense, not like him, but I would be able to do more great things the way he does. And uh, there's a slight difference there because the problem is that if we compare, we tend to forget that we all have different backgrounds. Let's say you came with another beginner at the same time, the person you don't know, and from day one he's able to do backward and forward. In Europe it takes like a week. Or after half a year, he's doing great, he's doing amazing stuff, and you feel like you don't, you're not doing as great as he does. But it doesn't mean that the problem is with you. Maybe, probably that person maybe did another martial art, maybe did some physical activities, uh, most likely he has already some background, not necessarily in Aikido, but that background helps. And eventually the person who is most dedicated, who uh, devotes most time, most energy in the class, that's the person who gets, gets uh, the most benefit. If in the beginning there is difference between your talent, that does the same. Just take your time, don't compare yourself to others, allow yourself to be inspired by others, but also realize that uh, it's important to go from where you are and 
your personal growth and development is the most important thing, not how you stand in your relationship with other people. So my fourth tip, and this is not the most traditional one, is remember why you are training. Oftentimes we get into a routine. We come, we just practice, practice, we go home, we practice, practice, go home. But if uh, from the very beginning you're able to actually recognize why you're inspired by this, what you're searching for, then from day one it's much easier to actually pick up the things you need to pick up. If the instructor says something or shows something, then suddenly you realize, wow, you know, this I can use in the things that I'm inspired by. Uh, if you just practice like that, you might miss those small details and it might take a long time since eventually you'll get to a place where you're going to think, well, now I need to start to think. But if you start to look at it from the beginning, you'll get much more quicker to the place where you want to be in a much better way. Now the fifth tip and the last tip for beginners is don't rush. Uh, with all the falling, with all the techniques, there's, a, there's always a danger anywhere. And even if you're walking on the street, something can fall on your head. But you have to remember that this is a martial art, and martial arts have a certain risk to it. Uh, so if everyone is moving in a fast pace, they're doing again those backflips and whatever, that doesn't mean you have to do it straight away as well. There's our ambition might say, okay, I need to be like everyone else. And then let's say the instructor says, well, jump over a certain amount of obstacles, since you want to compare yourself to others and be great, you might be willing to do that, although your mind says, or your body, the sensation says, I won't be able to do it. Stop there. Realize that it takes time to develop and become fast. It, becomes, it takes time to develop skills, to be able to fall in all different ways. So don't rush. If, it, if you realize it's too hard, you have somewhere back in the you always have the right to stop. If the instructor doesn't allow you to stop, I would question the instructor if that's the same to do it. But most likely the instructor will understand you, allow yourself to stop and take a break and come back in a place where you actually can train to benefit and not to deteriorate your body. So there are many more tips that I could give, uh, but these are the five first ones that pop into my head when I think about beginners. Uh, if you enjoyed this video and if you find these tips useful, let me know. Maybe we can also cover different tips for more advanced people or uh, middle experienced people. There's a lot of different things we can talk about. But as long as you're interested, as long as you're listening, let me know and we'll continue this discussion. This is Sensei Rokas and see you on the virtual Madigan soon.